Welcome to our episode of Barman Saturdays, and this week I decided to take a look at Angry Birds. What the hell was that? At any rate, I decided to take a look at Angry Birds. Better get out of here before I beat you with this Angry Bird. Like, I got more of them too, but save those for later, you know? At any rate, this week I decided to take a look at Time Machine. Seriously? There's more of you? Jeez, and you have to go with such a generic title as Time Machine. Okay, I walked into that one, but still. Can we just get on to talking about this week's movie, Free Birds? A movie about two turkeys that travel back in time in order to save all turkeys around the world from being Thanksgiving dinner by stopping the first Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's seriously the premise of this movie, which is really dumb, I have to admit. But the movie doesn't really care too much about time travel paradoxes. I mean, seriously, at one point, our friend Reggie here, the one that's got the blue head, crosses his own time stream three times. Three times! Like, seriously, who does that? He's like, no, this might be a time paradox, and I might be endangering the entire universe, but let's do this! Because I gotta tell myself how awesome this moment is when we realize we're the great turkey and set into motion Jake's entire kidnapping of ourselves so we can then become... The Great Turkey. Even though, I'm an idiot. Wow, I really am an idiot! Hate to say I told you so. Wait, if I'm an idiot, then you're an idiot. No, no, guys, guys, guys. Technically, we're all idiots. Sadly, he's not an idiot with a box. He's an idiot with an egg. Ugh. I, I wish I could make the Doctor Who reference, but, you know, their time machine's an egg. Yeah, I know. I guess it makes sense considering they're turkeys, right? Of course, I don't get why the time machine's voiced by, um... Gosh darn it. His name eludes me at the moment. From Star Trek. Does that whole... Oh, oh my. Jeez. It's on the tip of my tongue earlier. At any rate, I guess it doesn't really matter, you know? My pop culture knowledge eludes me for some reason. But yeah, when it comes to this movie, it's just meant to be like a dumb comedy film. You know, with some action scenes thrown in, but it's just not very funny. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, it has a few good scenes, like when the colonists attack, you know, the turkeys in their um, hidden base underground, set their um, home tree on fire, and just watch it burn away in the distance as, you know, they're gathering up on the shore and stuff like that. Like, there's a lot of drama and tension there. and It feels fast-paced like it should. But at the same time, a lot of the jokes just fall really flat. And sadly, almost all the really good jokes were in the trailer, so if you watch that, you've pretty much already ruined this film for you, because there's very few moments that are going to be really funny for you. I mean, some might argue otherwise, but honestly, I found this to be a rather mediocre film. I mean, it's not bad, it kept me mildly amused, but it's also not laugh-out-loud funny like you'd want in a comedy film. So yeah, this film just falls really short of the... Mark when it comes to being a good comedy, in my opinion. Though maybe little kids might get more of a kick out of it than I did. Till next time, then. See ya. A sign from the grandfathers. A most delicious sign. We should really do this more often.